Chappie Row, a new 80s revolution. Back here with another unboxing video. I'm there a warm up and he's staying up. Um, and he will be showing you what we're going to do today. That's right, partner in crime. Thank you very much. Well, I hinted to this on the Facebook. I don't know if you kids all have the Facebook out there. But uh, this weekend, the boy and I... Mm -hmm. I'm going to do a kawaii kid thing. Well, yeah, we're going to do that. But this yeah. weekend, we were at the Salt City Con. Oh, yeah, I got some good stuff. In Syracuse, New York. And uh, we went for one. We really went for you. Like, yeah. I had no. Yeah, I, I met um, Ghostbusters. So I met Winston. That's right. I had yeah. no reason to go to the Salt City Con. It's a smaller convention. Um, a, a decent amount of vendors. But uh, no guests, really. Uh, I, I was excited. For a little while, they're advertising the Rock and Roll Express, um, for obviously from NWA. Uh, and that would have been pretty awesome to meet, um, you know, like an NWA, you know, uh, group of uh, tag team. Um, it's common to meet, you know, old WWF guys, Hacksaw Jim Duggan we just met. But I really don't see coming to this area... Um, guys from the South, guys from Atlanta Wrestling, guys from Turner, guys from the NWA. And the Rock and Roll Express were a big part of my early wrestling memories. So that would have been awesome. But they pulled out or their agent got sick and didn't come. So really, uh, there was one guest. Um, they had uh, Winston Zedmore, Ernie Hudson from Ghostbusters. Uh -huh. and, and, a and a bunch of other movies like The Crow. And all. Yeah, he was in The Crow and all that. But Yeah, he played police officer. Yes, he did. Uh, so this guy over here is a huge Ghostbusters fan, if you haven't already learned. And so you, uh, really, we went to your first convention that was exclusively for you. Um, so you got to meet... Uh, uh, Winston. Winston Jamor. Which was pretty awesome. We might have a little footage of that spliced in here, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to have time. I want to try to get this video out tonight because I know Bobby Campbell is sitting there on pins and needles waiting for this video to drop. So I want to get it out as soon as possible. But you got to meet Winston. You got to shake his hand. He signed you an autograph. And yeah. then we took a big picture with him at the uh, with the Ecto-2. Ecto-2. But... The reason we're here tonight is because one of the vendors had all of these. Yeah, but he... All of these. The NECA Karate Kid figures that I have had my eyes on for months. And, you know, since we lost Toys R Us here in the U.S., um... There really is no place to buy NECA figures uh, other than a store called FYE, which we don't even have in Rochester. I got to go to Buffalo to go to FYE. Obviously, I can order on Amazon. You, you know I like to find some stuff in stores. So I heard these were going to be hitting Targets. Uh, Target does have a few NECA figures. These guys never made it to Target or they haven't made it yet. I haven't seen them. So I just, when I saw... You know, one of the vendors had all these guys. You know how I do. I just had to grab them all. And tonight, yeah. we're going to be tearing these bad boys out of the package and taking a closer look at these. Now, before we do that, what I wanted to, to show you about these guys. The NECA always has their pulse. Not their pulse. NECA always has their finger on the pulse of the 80s. Like, they truly know how to represent the era. And what I'm talking about is, if you if you look at this packaging, they the Karate Kid line from uh, Remco in the '80s was, I mean, I'm sure it was popular at the time, but it was kind of a it was kind of a short-lived toy line. They made figures for the first movie, and they made figures for the second movie. Uh, but when you're when you're talking about just two movies. I mean, how deep can the toy line be? And it and it ended and it went away and it was it's kind of one of those forgotten toy lines. But NECA goes back in the archives and models their packaging after the original Remco figures, including 
Um, the NECA symbol down here at the bottom is patterned after the Remco Karate Kid figures. And just to show you, I got... Look, we got uh, 80s. I've got a boxed Karate Kid uh, playset from, you know, from the 80s, the original. Yeah. And, and you can see, you can see the Remco uh, label there. Yeah, I can And you see. can compare that with the NECA label. Obviously, same purple, same font. I mean, they really, I, I love seeing stuff like that. They could have easily packaged these guys up in modern packaging. They could have even, you know, packaged them, um, you know, from using, you know, Cobra Kai, you know, current stuff. But they didn't. They, they went back and they... And they really captured the old Remco style packaging. So we're going to take a closer look at these guys tonight. We're going to do that right now. Mm -hmm. We're going to flip the camera around, give you an up close and personal view mm -hmm. at these figures. What do you think about that? Where are you? Are you even here? Oh, there you are. What, yeah. do, you, what do you think about unboxing these guys tonight? Oh, be a good yeah. Time? Yeah. I, I love this one. You're going to help me with this? Oh, yeah. All yeah. Right. They already got these for Amazon. And we just got these at the South City Con. That's right. Now they has the whole entire collection. He had the whole entire collection of Clyde Kin and the Golden Girls. Golden Girls? What? Would the New 80s Revolution be collecting Golden Girls figures? Are we actually oh, going to unbox oh. NECA Golden Girls figures on another show? We are. We are. Yeah! And thank you for being a friend. We'll see you in a little bit. We're going to take a close look at these figures right about now. <laughs> All right, guys, here's that up close and personal look at these NECA Karate Kid figures in true 80s Remco style packaging, but in all of the glorious NECA detail and articulation. Here's a uh, complete look at the packaging, mm -hmm. famous back of the package where you can check out the upcoming figures. Or the, actually, the whole entire line figures are already out. Little classic movie scene this there. This is Johnny Lawrence. This of course, yeah, right. This of course is Johnny Lawrence in yeah. the uh, Halloween skeleton outfit. If you, of course, you recall the Halloween school dance where Johnny and the rest of the Cobra Kai were dressed up as skeletons. So let's uh, let's get this thing open. I already sliced the tape there for you. I can't wait to see who it is. Well, yeah, we did met him at um we went to uh, Niagara Falls. That's right, we met we met him in Niagara Falls. But not in the skeleton's costume. No, he was not in the skeleton's no. costume. Huh. Just your uh, standard card back. Mm -hmm. So the thing one of my <clears throat> one of my pet peeves about action figures today is how long they actually take to get out of the package. I do not remember wrestling with these figures this much when I was a kid to get these guys actually out of the package. So you want to grab me those scissors again? They're right behind you there. What the? They just disappear. Well, oh, we'll, there they are. We'll just snip some of the uh, plastic, yeah, plastic off of this guy. Oops. This one is a little close to his skin. I don't want to... I don't want to cut his outfit at all. Ooh. See, again, this is this is like, you know, I don't know what the deal is with the toy companies that, you know, they're afraid I, uh, of, of some kind of, you know, destructive jostling that they have to tighten these figures like that. But here's your first look. Here we go. Out of the package, the Johnny. This is a very tight figure. Um, I cannot stand overly articulated loose figures and this one is solid this is a tight solid figure this is pretty awesome it's got his full-on skeleton costume hey dear, you forgot yeah something. watch that there's got they got tape on it oh peel that tape off or else you're gonna break it oh uh, boy get here you go here's your close-up look at yeah these johnny are lawrence and he comes with an easily standing figure here he comes with uh Actually, not an easily standing figure. I've been buying um, action figure stands. Um, it, you it's, it's, yeah, it's like an uh, it's a base and then an arm and then a little hook. So you put the hook around the figure and you can kind of pose them any way you want. Brilliant, brilliant 
item. Here you have the headphones. Let me go put that out right there. So this comes with a Purse. classic 80s Walkman and headphones. So this is from the scene in the uh, in the uh, at the party where he's sitting on the toilet. Yes, he was, and uh, listening to his headphones. And then Daniel puts the uh, let's get that on there. Daniel puts the uh, the hose over the stall and soaks Johnny Lawrence, leading to Daniel getting his butt kicked and Mr. Miyagi saving him. So there's your Daniel. There's your Johnny Lawrence figure dressed in skeleton gear, nice cloth clothing. Uh, he's got the Converse, the black Converse on. He's got his hood up. Got his classic '80s Walkman. Face is done up like the skeleton. Great looking figure. Very tight, like I said, a tightly articulated figure. Uh, not the best stander. Hey there, what are these that, in here? That's uh, like don't don't open that. That that like protects the figure from molding or something. Oh, oh, so it's like wipes. No, it's not wipes. <laughs> okay. Johnny Lawrence. One super down. Cool. Super cool headphones. Super cool headphones. Mm -hmm. You like them? Yeah. It's the the part about the bathroom is pretty funny. It is pretty funny. Let's take a look at some of the other ones. Grab a couple more behind me there. Okay. I have one. No. Oh. 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 I'll grab this one. You want to do oh. the two pack? Yeah. I, this one's my favorite. All right. Let's crack open the two pack. So obviously. Um, Single card figures for both of these guys. We'll show you the Daniel LaRusso, Ralph Macchio figure in a minute. NECA put together a special tournament two-pack. The All-Valley Karate Championship Finals. Johnny Lawrence versus Daniel LaRusso. Both packaged in there. And right there you can see what we're looking forward to unboxing here in a minute. Uh, I believe this comes with a tournament mat. I know it comes with a trophy. Uh, comes with a little book out there. We're gonna get right into that and see what we're talking about here. Let's yeah, let's this is my slice favorite. this open. It's just my favorite. I always wanted this. You always wanted it. Yeah, Since... I saw it at the convention, but I didn't get it. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh. Silly of me. Silly of you. Yeah. Okay. And since this is my favorite one, guy um. We can check this out. Well, let's take a look at what we got in here first. Oh, we got some more stuff? Um, yes, oh. we do. So here's our, here's the classic backing. I wonder if we can do something with this on the shelf. This is pretty awesome. This, to me, is too good to, uh, too good to waste. So we need to, we need to figure out a way to, to display yeah. that. Well, that won't flow out. Right? But inside here is, is the oh, oh. All Valley karate championship mat so just like the first one just like the remco karate kid figures this is cardboard is, are um, you going to op open it up well yeah let's take a look at it Why okay don't do that? i don't want to rip the bag because it's you hmm. can just leave him down yeah but Let, let's get some on the toilet okay there you go he's sitting on the toilet okay there he's yeah. sitting on the toilet yes he is all right, I don't want to. I don't want to bend this any more than it already is. So here is the here is the mat, the display. So basically, you can either set the mat down and have them on top. What I was thinking about doing was maybe putting the mat up against the wall, you know, and and having them stand in front of it. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how we display this item. So that's a cardboard mat. This comes with a little, uh, I guess this is a replica poster. So this would be a card sized poster of the uh, All Valley Karate Championship poster that you see in the movie. Oh, that's the like the world champion. It is the world champions. Let's, let's how get this open. So why don't you peel the tape off of that. We'll show you the trophy. Uh, they have some karate, 80s right. karate kid figures. Well, here we go with the All Valley Championship trophy that comes with these figures. In fact, it says down there, All Valley Karate Championship 1984 All Valley Champion. I don't know if you can focus in on that, but there's, they got the detailed writing down there. Got a little karate guy on top. There you have the, the trophy, another nice little bonus item. Liam's working on getting Ralph Macchio out of the packaging. Yeah, well, we 
we put down more that's the good why don't you work on that oh, is he still in there yeah he's still all right get yeah. you gotta clip him like one Where's, where is he see this is this is like why, yeah. why do they do this to me yeah oh, right there cut right there see it huh? there you go Ooh, um, oh it's cut you you work johnny lawrence so here's our ralph macchio Daniel LaRusso figure, again, tight figure, but good articulation. As long as there's going to be articulation, it's got to be tight. I, I cannot stand loose figures that flop all around. Um, that's why I was not a fan of the any newer wrestling figures like from Jax or anything like that, even Mattel. They get so loose, and they're just not fun. They don't stand on their own. Yeah, like the He-Man figure. Those are super loose. He-Man figures get very loose. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have So there's your guy. Daniel LaRusso. Hang on, let me You take a look at him first. Here's your Daniel LaRusso figure. Headband is not cloth. It's plastic molded on. You got the awesome uh, Miyagi-Do dojo emblem symbol. Is that the guy who sprayed this guy? That's the guy who sprayed him with a hose, yeah. So we can pose him. He's got some wrist movement. He's got some leg movement. We yeah, can me. definitely get him in all kinds of awesome yeah. karate poses. Uh, I'll, uh, these well, are about seven inches, I believe, these figures. These are kind of loose. Barefoot actually. Daniel. See, Great looking figure. And there you go. There's your 360 view. Let's take a look at... Uh, Giant, giant Johnny Lawrence. Lawrence. Go, my favorite guy. Another fantastic looking figure. Head sculpt is, you know, decent. I mean, I mean, come on, what do we, you know, I'm not really a real scan fan. Yeah. Um, oh, great detail on the, uh, the pants. Take a look at all that. I don't even really remember that from the movie. I don't know what that is. Um, Probably all these Kali badges. But, I, but there is, yeah, that's right. But there is the Cobra Kai symbol on the back. More more symbols down the side of his pants he's got his name Johnny on his emblem there again great great figure tight joints tight articulation gonna look fantastic on the NECA shelf up in the theater room headband is plastic molded on great looking figure these are about $30 these were all $30 the um, the two pack was sixty. Um, I've seen these on Amazon for thirty seven ninety nine directly from the NECA store, but these at the con were thirty bucks each, so I'm saving money on retail right there. That's oh, pretty great. So here's your Johnny Lawrence. Johnny Lawrence and your Daniel Larusso Karate yeah. Kid figure. Email 30 Jeffrey. years, no, 30 plus, 34 years after the Remco Karate Kid figures, we're seeing these guys again. I think we owe it to Cobra Kai, but I don't, uh, I don't know if NECA would have been creating these guys without Cobra Kai. I don't care. I'm thrilled that they're out, and they're going to look amazing on the shelf. Once I get to all those uh, figure stands, uh, maybe we can do some some poses. Uh -huh. Yeah, what do you think of that? Once yeah. you uh, once you grab the other one out of there. Yeah, you can do this. Pull, 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 pull. You certainly can. You can do that while I'm working this guy out of here. Oh, I can play? Well, no. I'd rather you didn't play with them. Yeah, but they're playable, right? Of course they're playable. All right, let's take a look at this. Regular clothes, street clothes, Daniel LaRusso figure. Ooh. That's the guy who sprayed the guy in the bathroom too, right? That's right. Just in a different outfit. Here's my scissors. Uh, so here we've got the uh, classic bonsai tree accessory. What's the bonsai tree? Oh, it's uh, Mr. Miyagi taught him how to bonsai plant like uh, this in a scene in the movie yes, yes, yes. while I get him clipped out of here why don't you work on peeling the tape off of these little bongo thingies these little sanders, sanders 
Yeah, I call them bongo thingies because that's what he did in the movie. Oh, so these? Yeah. Okay. You gotta use the tape. You gotta get, hang on, you gotta get the tape on. Again, not the easiest stuff to get out of the package. Wait a second. You wanna snip that for me? Cool. And cut that part without cutting me. Watch out. Got it. You gotta get it deeper in the scissors. There you go. Ugh. Oh, well, don't let that spill. All right, here's our Ralph Macchio, Daniel LaRusso street clothes figure, wearing uh, Different. some khaki pants and a blue and white t-shirt. Yep. He's got some boots on, some shoes. the The figures do, you know, the clothes do come off if you if you so choose. Um, they're no the clothes. I don't see any reason for us to take the. Daniel LaRusso figures yeah, clothes be, off. Because though. he'll be naked. True. We don't really want that. Yeah. So look at these two guys. These are the two same. Were you not working on these for oh, me? Oh, yeah. So you, you put my hand away. Oh, well, because you were trying to do it right in my shot here. Oh, oh. All right. So here's the closer look at the Ralph Macchio Daniel LaRusso street clothes figure. Pretty plain outfit. Yeah, play plain guy too. Nothing too exciting He's to the see good there. Guy. Great looking figure. And I'll get these uh, swipe lids. And he comes with a couple accessories, like I mentioned, the bonzo tree, bonsai tree, bonsai tree, and something I think is actually pretty cool. Once my partner here can get them out, the uh, let's see how these go. The sanders, the deck sanders. Take a look at that. The Mr. Miyagi deck sanders accessory. Yep. You got the other one? Okay. Got the other deck sander? All right. Yeah. So take a look at that, guys. I mean, that's just a fun little extra accessory that you wouldn't really expect them. But NECA just, like I said, NECA is just fully aware. I don't know if this one's going to go on as easy. We have no thing. NECA no. is just fully aware of what's going on. Let's see if we can get this on. I don't know if he's going to end up with... Well, he can. So there we go. We got Daniel LaRusso with... the. These are not the wax on, wax off. This is like sand on, sand off. I don't know if there was a sand the, sand the deck hey. uh, karate move. And then we have little chopsticks. And then we have the tiniest little accessories in the world. Some chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty boy. Yeah. So like, there's our... Probably display him with the... Nah. With the sander bongos. Remember in the movie, he was like, ah, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Yeah. Now we will get into Mr. McGee. Mr. Who? Mr. McGee. Mr. McGee? Uh-huh. <laughs> what? That's a good one. What? Did Mr. I say it right? Mr. McG? You, you did not. not say it right. <laughs> and so McGee everybody's though? gonna be enjoying that one. Here we have Mr. McG. The sensei. Mr. McG or Mr. Miyagi. Oh. Of course, Mr. Miyagi. Get rid of that backing, right? Because we don't keep this that kind of packaging. So I'm going to pull this guy out of here. You work on these bonsai trees and those chopsticks again. Okay. So the, uh, give me the scissors. So the Daniel uh, LaRusso figure comes with a bonsai tree. As does Mr. Miyagi. And I have to do some surgery here and operate on stupid little plastic uh, holders. Why don't you cut here for me? You get in there? There we go. And then you work on those chopsticks. Now, when it comes to head sculpt, uh, this one by far is the best. Uh, the LaRusso's uh, heads are okay. Joey Lawrence's Joey Lawrence Johnny Lawrence's head is okay. Whoa, uh, Miyagi's head is is perfect. 
Uh-huh. That's a fantastic head sculpt. He looks sculpt exactly there. the same from the movie, I think. He does. You're right. And he's he's short. He's about an inch smaller than the other figures, which, you know, is is uh, true. He's an old man. True. And he is an old man, but it's you know true scale. So I like that. Um, you can see the the difference there between the two. Ah, asshole. So he uh, he's wearing his classic. That's a, actually a two-piece. Uh, brown shirt, brown pants. Matching. Of course, matching belt, brown shoes, bald spot, 360 view. Fantastic figure. My favorite of the line. Why? Because it looks just like him. It's perfect. It's a great head sculpt. And he bows. I'm not even doing this. He's doing it himself. Oh. That's crazy. I can't Somebody believe it. The bathroom. So he's got the bonsai tree, and of course he's got the uh, stereotypical chopsticks here, which really kind of feel like, I mean, they, I know they're not, I don't know, I can't tell if they're plastic or wood, because they're really kind of thin, and these would, like, break in half a second. They're like two little toothpicks that are, you know, glued together. These, these really would, like, you know, if kids, yeah, if my little brother yeah, if got them, if your little brother got them, oh my God, they'll be killed apart. He'd shred them. So yeah, gonna, shoo uh, them, shoo them. Try to get those in Miyagi's hands there, as you can see. Oh, all right. So that is the Karate Kid NECA line. I knew who's gonna watch this first, Bobby Campbell. Bobby Campbell's gonna watch this. That's right. Yeah. All right, boys and girls, that's it. That is the NECA Karate Kid toy line. Uh, my, you know, latest favorite figures from NECA. And that's probably going to be my favorite until we unbox Rose, Blanche, uh, Sophia, and Dorothy. That's right. When you say it, you have to, have, you have to add multiple symbol, syllables. Dorothy. Dorothy. The Golden Girls NECA figure unboxing is coming up next. Hang out with us. Thanks for watching. Oh, somebody's done with the bathroom. Hello. I saw.